What's up guys, this is Finesse and you're watching Artist Spotlight with Branch Out Visuals. Let's get it. Um, my artist name is Finesse and um, I actually got it because when I first started making music and stuff, I was only making beats and I used to go by like Finesse Beats because I was like, um, like the actual English definition of finesse is like refined intricacy and like delicacy, right? So I was just like, oh, I'm like taking time with my beats and like really trying to make it into something that's like just a refined art. So I was like, yo, you know what? I finesse beats. I'm finesse beats. And then one time I just dropped the, the beats. Now I'm just finesse. But now I'm just, I, I think about it now like everything I do is just, I'm going to do it right. So I am finesse. I'm finessing out here. Um, I would describe my sound like, well, the what I'll say is I grew up listening to a lot of like alternative and like rock music and stuff. I used to play the drums when I was younger, and then like then I found out about Kanye West and Kanye West's music is obviously just like so production heavy and like super cool. So I would say it's like um a blend of literal like alternative and like hip-hop music like that's that's what i think hmm the first one that's coming to head is uh most things never last i don't um uh, i don't know why i just like love that song i think like the production was really like um, like those are like the drums I kind of love and just like more of that, uh, like that dark, um, like mysterious type of like vibe. I, the, and I, I really like that. It just like sounds cool and like hard to me, but, um, I have this album I'm working on and there's a song on there. It's called, um, are you kidding me? And that song is just like, um, I feel like such a tell of so much of what I went through like in my career in pursuing music and everything and the production is just like every, like changing throughout the entire song it's like not such like a here's the beat I'm rapping over a beat it's like a whole production so I think that song is like really something special and like I can't wait for the world to hear that one yeah so I think the two artists I listen to and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like this makes me want to make music is like Kanye West and Tame Impala. Like it's it's literally just like, I think it's a lot due to the fact that they're like producers at the end of the day. Like they're the one like, you know, really making their like beats and everything and like their entire sound. So it's just like so cool to me that it's just like one person like dun -dun 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 -dun. and like and they're just making a whole song and like for it to be such a grand like ever-changing like piece of music is just like so cool to me so like that stuff just makes me feel like listening to their music I feel like there's no balance in like creating music so anytime I want to draw inspiration I just listen to their stuff so my favorite clothing brand is definitely Kid Super like um I went to one of his parties, uh, Kami like took me to one of his parties like in 2018 and just seeing like the building he operates out of and like how he's just like so, it's like to him I feel like he just doesn't even care about clothes, he just cares about making art and like that to me is so cool like in his building he has like build it and like they will come and like all this stuff that is just like like truly inspiring as just like a creative like and just an artist and his clothes are just so like he doesn't give a fuck like it's just like i'm just making art like yeah. and um they're just really unique pieces that i just think like tell so much about him and like that he just doesn't care and it's just like you know so many people make brands and stuff and like are trying to be clothing brands and stuff but i feel like he's just like unrelentlessly being himself and like it shows in his like fashion. So like that's something I wanna wear. I think the best advice I could, advice I would give myself if I could is just don't ever compromise what you think 
you want to make you know because there's so many people that are just doing what they think is cool and what they think people will like them for and i just don't think that's ever gonna bring change it's not gonna make you into like you i think the world will appreciate you most when you're being yourself so even if it's whack at first sometimes i feel like it takes like trial and error to find out like what your sound like really is but i think if you just really just tap into what you want to make you'll make like the most special stuff and i think people will appreciate you the most for making what's you and then it's not even hard to make it because it's what you want to make you know you're not trying to do something that you're not and like i struggle with that like just trying to make what i think is cool but i love the music that i just come straight from the soul you know and i think just have fun like stop just thinking about what you need to do and like what do you want to do and i think it'll that'll keep you there for the long run for sure five years from now i would be hopefully like doing like a world tour or something with like for my album like literally the album i'm working on is i really want it to be something like grand like i i've like rewrote this album like everything just because i really want it to be like a piece of art and i want it to be an experience you know so in five years from now if i could just have this album out and it's like doing well and i could just make like grand stages and like grand performances of like you know, real moments, experiences. Like I went to the, the Yeezus toy and that was like something that always stuck with me. It was like, he, he had a mountain come out of the floor and like, and all this like grand stuff. It's like a real experience. But in five years, I just see myself still maintaining my independence in my career and stuff. And, you know, just doing stuff on my terms and just being like my own person, like not compromising anything for everyone. I see all my homies, they're all winning too, doing their own thing, we're all working together and stuff. But in five years from now, I really want to be like a staple name, you know? Mm -hmm. Just like the way you think about Kanye pushing the sound continuously, like I wanna try to be something like that, you know? I don't ever wanna conform to like what it is. I just always wanna push the boundary. This could be out of sheer laziness, but I live so close to this halal diner and like they just got this crazy chicken tikka with rice and like salad. And it's just like, it's not like no normal chicken or rice. Like it is like some cooked chicken or rice. And like, I just eat that. I'm like, oh my gosh, it feels like my mom just made this for me. And like, even though it's like whatever, I just know I can eat that and I'm like straight. It's like I eat garbage. I actually had a good meal, so shout out to them boys at the Halal Diner going crazy. What's up? This has been Finesse with Branch Out Visuals. This is the Art Spotlight. You can check me out on Instagram and all socials at foot, 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 Finesse. Thank you, and check out Full Time Finesse, the EP. More coming soon.